Hi, my name is Patrick. This video is to tell you what will be the daily schedule in the last two months if you really want to crack CAT. I'm looking at two scenarios, assuming that you're at home and you're preparing whole day for the CAT, or you're working and you can, or you're in college and you can do only a part of your day for CAT. So technique ten daily schedule. I mean, if you have no other commitments, you're at complete home. That means I would expect around six to seven hours a day of preparation is what is technically required. So in which case, I would recommend that when you start getting up in the morning, start with reading. Reading is the most important part of preparation. And whenever you start your day, always start with something is your weak area or something which is important. In this case, reading. Exercise. Ensure that you exercise in the morning. Have all the morning routine, whatever. The breakfast, your meditation, etc. Do that. Keep yourself fit. That is very important. I mean, if you look at even when people play for world championship chess, it's a chess, you have to just sit and play, but they exercise because they have to keep themselves healthy. Stamina is required so that you can focus and concentrate for more time. Also, I kept cat preparation as four slots of one and a half hours each. I mean, you can vary to less to more, but approximately six hours of cat preparation, which could solve maybe mathematics or could be DILR sets. You keep on solving. On a day maybe which you're trying to uh, solve mocks, you can keep a two hour slot of mocks and the rest of the slots you can keep for analysis of mocks. Also, keep ample breaks in between. So when you're preparing for 7 to 8.30, good preparation gives yourself some break. I mean, do some activities like maybe music, something that will refresh your mind. Also, ensure that you try to read for two hours a day, half an hour in the morning, let's say one hour somewhere in between, half an hour night before sleep. Helps to keep, uh, I mean, good reading becomes important and keeping two hours of reading definitely helps as such. So this is a rough plan with regards to your preparation if you're, you know, has a whole day for preparing for CAT in the last two months. If you're preparing for four hours a day, I mean, you can cut short your reading for one hour. From two hours, you can do one hour. I really technically do that reading maybe when you're traveling or if you're in an office somewhere, you can read based on your office work. Etc. Also, your preparation, you can cut down from four slots to two slots of 1.5 hours. One slot maybe in the morning before you go to office, one and a half hours. Second slot maybe in the evening, one and a half hours. You can also vary this. Maybe if you're a morning person, give more time in the morning, less time in the evening. If you're a person, evening person, that means you can focus better in the evening or night, then more time in the night than in the morning. But break it up because preparing for three hours at a stretch is a little tedious I and mean, saturates your mind. So break up your time for morning before work and evening after work. That's how you should prepare. But yes, this four hours is required for preparation technically if you're looking at, you know, cracking the cap. And then maybe in the weekends, you can go with a routine of six to seven hours a day of preparation. So it's a rough slot. I mean, when you're talking of CAT preparation, what could it mean? It could mean writing the mocks. It could be analyzing the mock. You analyze a mock on that video. It could be practicing your corn, DLR, and verbal. So practice corn, DLR exercises, whatever verbal, and solve puzzles or calculations. Technically, do this during a CAT prep modules, which are there. So giving you a rough idea of preparation, obviously, the exact what you prepare will vary based on person to person. You will technically focus on your weak area if you're looking at top colleges. So that means if DILR is a weak area, you will spend more time on DILR. If quant is a weak area, spend more time on quant. And accordingly, will vary. That should help you with regards to prep, right? So any queries, anything that you want, you can put in the comments and we will try and guide you accordingly. Thank you.